here in my garage. Just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. It's fun to drive up here in the Hollywood Hills. But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Knowledge. In fact, I'm a lot more proud of these seven new bookshelves that I had to get installed to hold 2,000 new books that I bought. And so I recorded a little video. It's actually on my website. You can click here on this video and it'll take you to my website where I share three things that they taught me. Three things that you can implement today no matter where you are. Now, this isn't a get rich quick scheme, but if you're somebody who knows that there's something better because the dream is possible. Hi, my name is Madison Moneymaker, and I'm here today to teach you how to become rich beyond your wildest dreams with Madison's Moneymaker Movement. Sounds legit, right? My program has 50 steps that you can do to achieve financial freedom. Don't believe me? I don't know why you wouldn't. But just to show you how legit this program really is, I'm gonna reveal two steps in this program. Yes, two steps, kernels of knowledge, knowledge that you can have to achieve the goals that you're after. The first step, own a garage. garage. Everyone who's rich owns a garage. It just kind of makes sense. If you have a garage, chances are you might be rich. Like at least 2% of a chance that you would. Step number two, own books. New books yes, not just one book, not just five. If you have at least 10 books, then you are on the path to achieving your success. I actually don't own a garage or any books, but I've heard from other money-making schemes, I mean, millionaire friends, that that's what you're supposed to do. So that's why I'm teaching you today. Buy Madison's Money Maker and become a Madison's Money Millionaire. Hi guys, it's Madison Harnish back in my blue kitchen for another crazy video. Welcome to my little corner on the internet where I try to expose scams that are going on in the world. Today we're talking about the money making gurus who are going to help you achieve the financial freedom of your dreams. Yeah, we're going to dive into that today. <laughs> A lot of these make money fast ads come from people that have their own YouTube channels where all they do is advertise their program that you have to pay so that you can become rich and achieve success. Meanwhile, they're kind of just getting rich off of teaching others how to be rich. So it's a really weird catch 22 and something that I wanted to look into further and analyze in this video. But first, if you like videos that expose scams or talk about weird things going on in the internet, chances are you'd probably like this channel. So don't forget to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. And well, let's get into the video. <laughs> So I first want to dive into these videos, analyze them a little bit more and find out whether or not they're scams and if what they're teaching is really even that valuable or if they're all saying the same exact thing. What do you guys think? <laughs> I feel like there's a factory that just pumps out the money-making guru robots that all start their own YouTube channel, but it's all really the exact same type of channel and they all sell their program, but it's really all the same exact program. <laughs> and I think I came up with a good word for these money-making gurus, get rich quick gurus. <laughs> In the anti-MLM community, we call MLM distributors who constantly send out the exact same messages and they all kind of seem like robots that are saying the exact same thing. We call them the Hunbots. I was thinking for these money-making gurus to call them the Freebots. The Freebots. Because they, a lot of things that they sell are labeled free. And on top of that, they constantly use the word financial freedom. Eight steps, and guess what? I want to give you the book for free, okay? Free. I want to give you the book for free. In all of their videos, you can always find that word used. 
So that's why I want to call them the free bots in this video. But why do so many free bots exist? Unfortunately, it's probably because people actually fall for this. And when researching these free bots, it was kind of creepy how eerily similar a lot of what they say is to MLMs or pyramid schemes. They use almost the exact same talking points. We've been conditioned to believe that the American dream is something that anyone can achieve. And that's what these free bots thrive off of. Okay, don't be mean then. They tried to convince people that they've discovered the secret to unlocking your success, yet they reveal suspiciously little information, or they talk about subjects that anyone can do and anyone can research about on the internet. They swear that you're going to achieve financial freedom with their program, but most of their videos are littered with hopes and dreams and very little logical and practical information. I can't straight out say that these guys are a scam, but I can say that a lot of what they do are very similar to known scams out there in the world. <laughs> so today we're gonna be diving into these money-making gurus, topics that they discuss, mainly Amazon FBA, Shopify drop shipping, and millionaire mindset gurus. Now, of course, I wanna put out there, if you do Amazon FBA, Shopify drop shipping, or real estate, you're not in a scam, obviously. Tons of people do that. The scam part are these people who act like they know how to become rich off of these things where some people succeed and some people don't succeed. Success is a really hard thing to quantify, especially when it comes to things like real estate or Shopify, drop shipping. There's some people that become extremely successful off of it and some people who don't as much because it can be a hit or miss. When someone pretends that they have quantified success or discovered the formula, you can always be sure that they're scamming you because no one has the formula to success. First up on the free bot list is Shopify dropshipping. If you guys don't know what Shopify dropshipping is, there's a lot of websites from China like Alibaba, AliExpress, and they sell products for extremely cheap. And what Shopify dropshipping is, is on your website platform through Shopify, you can basically sell those products, but then mark up the price and then get a profit of whatever those products are. So even though the person could just go on to AliExpress and buy the same exact thing that you're selling through Shopify, you you know create a really well-designed website, you market it, and people purchase directly from your site instead of going on to AliExpress and Alibaba, even though they're kind of paying probably twice as much for what they would, would have paid if they went onto the website itself. So let's see what these free bots have to say about Shopify dropshipping. First, we're reviewing a channel called Beast of Ecom. Amazing. Love the channel name. What's poppin' people? It's your boy, the Beast of Ecom, and I am back. He, he put an ad right after his name. He's like, what's up, guys? It's Madison Harnish, and I'm back. Ad. Back with another video. The end. With another video, drop in a sip, but you already know, value bombs. Value bombs. Hashtag value bombs. What's, what's a true value bomb? Babe, mm -hmm. what do you think a value bomb is? Bath bombs. Bundle deal of bath bombs. That's a value bomb there. <laughs> I can guarantee this will be the most valuable video you ever watch. And anyone who has joined the free course, the free Shopify course is at around about 2,000 members now, over 2,000 members, so I hope you are all getting value in that. And anyone who has joined the free Facebook mastermind group as well, I think we're at around about 500 people in there as well. So in today's video, I wanted to give you the exact high-level blueprint that you can use to go from working a 9 to 5 into a full-time e-commerce entrepreneur. I've done it. Look at me, even though I'm sitting in an empty room. But I just have to say that room does not look like you make $10,000 a month, but you know, each to each his own, we just might have different interior design styles. I know, right? High level blueprints we're about to see here. 
high level blueprints. Are you ready? Let's let's skip forward a little bit and see what his high level blueprint is. So his high level blueprint is a Google Doc. The blueprint, this high level blueprint, high level. This is not basic stuff. This is not for beginners. This is high level stuff. What's the first step? Let's see. Number one, set up your Shopify store. So this is his first step on this high level blueprint of how to be an expert Shopify drop shipper. Number one, set up your Shopify store. That's your first level, like that should be a given. Yes, you have to set up a Shopify store. And then his bullet points is head over to Shopify dot com and start a trial to begin with yeah for fun i've dabbled with shopify before all you have to do is just go on to shopify and it teaches you how to set up a store you don't need a dude on youtube to tell you that you need to do it to become a shopify drop shipper i just so then here about 16 minutes into the video, he talks about step number three, finding winning products and defining your niche. So this is when it's like, okay, we're getting into some interesting stuff. But I just, I love the very simple <laughs> wording of this document. Winning products are either cool, quirky, quirky, or unique and sold to a passionate audience. So uh, let's look at his website, Ecom Beast, and see what the price is, what he's charging for this amazing knowledge, knowledge that you can't find anywhere else, which is a complete lie. You can find it literally everywhere. Let's see what he's charging. It just seems like the laziest kind of landing page, but okay. Just white page, black text with red arrow. So the everyday price is $9.97. And for today only, you have to pay $547 for this information that if you put in a little bit more work than buying his program, you can literally just find online. And not even that much work. You just Google how to set up a Shopify store, how to do drop shipping, how to advertise. You just look it up online and they have free information everywhere. I know that because I did that. You know, I'm not like a successful entrepreneur, but when I was starting my little startup, I looked up online and researched how to do a lot of this stuff and learned a lot just from a basic Google search. Here's another guy that says complete Shopify tutorial for beginners 2020, which you'd think since it's two hours long, it would have more information. And don't get me wrong. It definitely has more information, but like more of the same information. They say how to set up your Shopify store that you should do a free trial. And it's just like, once again, very basic information. And I get that this is for beginners, but I'm also just like all of these videos have the same exact information in them. Of course, it can be educational and YouTube videos are created for educational purposes. But when you're creating a video being like, I can teach you everything, I'm gonna help you, you'd think that you would have more than just the basics within a video in which you constantly advertise your program and get people to click your link in your description for your program. This video by Dan Voss, the beginner video, says in the description, Shopify Freedom Course plus unlimited one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me, closing soon. Let's take a look at that. Interesting, like Cody Co says, there's some blue ass water there. It says Shopify Freedom Course. Free bot, freedom! Shopify Freedom Course, buy a free bot, awesome. How to start a successful branded drop shipping store that will change your life forever with the green button that says enroll in course. And this is where it gets really interesting to me. You know how the other guy had the price at $9.97? This says 50% off, price going up to $9.97 soon, which is so interesting. That's the same price that the other guy had. So why do they use similar prices, similar phrases? It's all so similar. His landing page is just like so long. My favorite part is zero risk guarantee. Yeah, the risk that you have is losing all of your money on a course that didn't do do-do. That's the risk you have. 
So then at the very end of this literally 30 page long landing page, they say, join Shopify Freedom before the prices increase to $9.97 in 2020. And it has $9.97 X'd out and $4.97 highlighted. $4.97 for a course on how to open a Shopify store. No. I ended up watching like 20 of these Shopify free bots and what they had to say. And it was all literally exactly the same thing. Just how to start a Shopify store and then advertise your products. All the same thing. And then they were all selling their link to their course and it all looked exactly the same, their course. So I'm just like, what's going on here? Why do they all have similar prices, similar landing pages? Why are they saying the same thing? They're literally like robots. They're just being mass produced. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I don't know what's going on here. Next, there's the Amazon FBA make money quick scammers. They talk about how you can make money with Amazon FBA. And what is Amazon FBA? Amazon FBA is fulfillment by Amazon, basically saying that you can sell products that Amazon will fulfill for you. Very similar to Shopify drop shipping, like almost exactly the same thing. So they're saying that you can become extremely rich through doing that. So this guy, Jimmy Michalik, Jimmy Michalik? Um, I don't know. He has a video saying how he made 100K with Amazon FBA. Amazon FBA success stories. And he's talking about his students and how they got successful from learning from his program. That's pretty much the entire video is just him mentioning his program, trying to subtly soft sell it. About how one of my students went from making $0 to almost $100,000 in sales with his Amazon FBA home-based business in only his first few months. I have my Amazon FBA free training link down below in the description where you can learn a whole bunch more information about selling on Amazon and how I help people do it. And I will link to it over here on the screen also. So let's go into his program and see what the look of it is, see what the price is, check it out. So this is where I think the free bots thing really comes into play. In his description, he uses the words free constantly. He says, make sure you watch my Amazon FBA 2020 free training. Join our free Amazon FBA Facebook group. So he's trying to sell his program and saying it's free training, free Facebook group. But you go onto the landing page and it literally looks like a scam pop-up that you see when you have a virus on your computer. It's just a white page with black text that says Amazon FBA free training. Enter your email address to view my free Amazon FBA training available for a limited time only. You know, and you know, and I know that if I entered my name and my email address into this, I would get a bunch of links where I would be sold to constantly. It's like, it's not free. Nothing in this world is free, obviously from these people, from the free bots. So yeah, no, exit out real fast. Another guy, this time he's with his girlfriend and it's a 55 minute long video where he says she makes $40,000 per month on Amazon at 23 years old. If this course is available for you and it's gonna make your life so much easier and it's going to make you probably like so much more successful than you would be without it, why not take it? It really just pieces it out for you and makes it simple with video and with written script and with you know forms that they give you. It just really makes it simple and um, for me, someone who didn't even have a computer and I, all of a sudden I was able to do this, it just shows you that yeah. anyone can do it. You know, coming from someone- And she shared that you started you, just on your yeah, iPad. I started on my iPad. Like, it doesn't get more ghetto than that. <laughs> <laughs> so you can definitely do it. If you have internet connection and you can, you know, put aside some money to invest in a good course, ASM for me was the best course. Then he advertises his program project life mastery and that's the cell of all of this is project life mastery so let's click on that and see what they have to say and it says leverage the power of amazon fba to generate financial wealth and freedom 
There's another freedom. Free bots love when they use the word freedom. Awesome. Your proven blueprint to a $50,000 per month Amazon FBA business. This free online training will teach you step by step how to leverage the massive power of Amazon to generate financial wealth and freedom. I decided to get into some hot Cheetos. So if my tongue and lips are completely red, now you know why. <laughs> Once again, this free training, this training is completely free with such a similar button that says, yes, give me instant access. Then they have testimonials on the site as well. If you look at all of the testimonials of what other people have to say, they're literally all other speakers and financial gurus that are recommending him, literally every single one. The king of high ticket sales, world-class professional speaker, Darren Jacklin, Steven Sommers, co-founder of Marketplace Superheroes, Trevor Turnbull, founder of 30 Day Sales Machine. It's just other free bots recommending this free bot. And one of the guys, um, Marketplace Superheroes, he also has a website and it's the exact same thing, how to build a seven figure global Amazon business from scratch, selling simple, high profit, low competition items. It's just, it's all the same stuff. Like, is it just me? It's all the same. I don't understand what's going on here. But I think the most interesting thing about the Amazon free bots is the fact that they were sued by Amazon. By the Seller Journal, there's an article that says two alleged get-rich-quick guru courses and their operators are being sued by Amazon. Amazon is taking to task two gurus that are using Amazon's trademarks without their permission. Typically, Amazon won't target someone if the trademark usage is of fair use, but I imagine these two received special attention from the army of Amazon lawyers because of the woefully lacking reputation these two groups carry. It's worth pointing out that these lawsuits not only go after the misuse of Amazon's trademarks, but the relation to the misuse with the perceived lack of value and misleading information that the educators provide. The first target is Prime Global Source, LLC, and a host of other companies that they believe have connections to this operation. The lawsuit filed on October 18th, 2019 in the U.S. District Court for the District of Utah Central Division alleges that the defendant used elements of the Amazon Prime trademark inappropriately and whose purpose is to persuade unwitting entrepreneurs to spend thousands of dollars on seminars and training programs of little if any value. This is from Amazon and their defendants. No value these courses have, no value. Defendants accomplish this objective in part by misleading consumers into believing that they are affiliated with Amazon.com. So Amazon does not condone the actions of these Amazon FBA sellers. They don't condone it. They think that it's not necessary. If someone wants to sell through Amazon, they can literally just sell through Amazon and learn by doing that they don't need these courses and that spending this amount on these courses is a waste of money. And it couldn't get any more intense. The lawsuit also features student complaints saying things like, after securing nearly $22,500 from me, PGS became unresponsive. They literally took $22,500 from someone and then just didn't respond to them after. I paid $1,495 for help to create my legal entity. After they charged my credit card, they disappeared. I learned later that the coach that sold me the membership was not even a PGS employee. I bought thousands of dollars worth of inventory from one of their wholesalers. They still haven't delivered the product after six months. And some of the secrets that they talk about on their program involve violating Amazon's third-party seller agreements through the use of fake product reviews. So everything that these people are doing is just not condoned by Amazon. It's not a part of it and it's not needed or necessary and organizations are cracking down on it.
So this is where my research ended up taking a really crazy turn. After this video, something didn't sit right with me. I just had a feeling that there was some part of this picture that I wasn't picking up on. I knew that there was something else going on and I wanted to look into this further. And that's when I stumbled upon an article written by The Verge all the way back into 2014 that really explains a lot of what is going on. So I wanted to talk about this and I wanted to dive into some more of my research. I know that this is already a super long video. It's just really crazy and I had to share this and I hope that you guys are as fascinated with this as I am because this stuff is just mind-blowing and crazy to me. So this article by The Verge starts out by describing someone who's a paraplegic who ended up falling for an internet scam. And then they go behind the scenes into all of these money-making guru scams and explain what's really going on in some really fascinating details. So they talk about Ray Goza, who is the head of this internet marketing empire that's operating illegitimately, and this is what they have to say. Ray Goza is an internet marketer, the snake oil salesman of the 21st century. In some ways, his kind of internet marketing is an evolution of the old make money from home stuffling envelopes ads. In the internet, con artists have found a platform that allows them to scale their scams far beyond the penny stocks and worthless real estate deals of the past. Over the years, there have been a number of FTC lawsuits aimed at the internet marketing people. In November 2011, the FTC dismantled an operation called Grant Connect with 29.8 million judgment. Kyle Komodo and Juliet Komodo, his ex-wife and former Miss Nevada, were among a large group implicated in a wide range of scams. In another case, the FTC issued a 247,000 judgment against Freight Kern and Instant Internet Empires for selling a 47 $0.77 collection of web templates that promised that buyers could make more than $115,000 a year using the product. Crazy considering that nowadays people are claiming that you can make $1 million, $10,000 a month, $40,000 a month. The claims are even higher than this, which makes me just wonder why are these claims still being allowed? Why has there been no, no action taken against these people when those have been arrested in the past? As you can see, a lot of what has happened in the past is continually happening, just an updated version with YouTube and as YouTube scales and as social media marketing scales. But it's really the same thing that has happened in the past and that people have been arrested for, that they have been charged for. So why is this still happening that's my main question it's easier to control your message through video video is more subtle than print claims made on video don't leave a paper trail for the ftc and that's such a good point if you have someone like ty lopez or grant cardone and they go into their multi-million dollar mansion that they supposedly own or go into their quote, quote unquote private jet or drive their fancy cars and then say, I can help you reach your success. They're not saying I'm going to help you buy a million dollar mansion or become extremely rich in that regard. They're not outright saying that, although they have at some points, definitely for sure. But since most of it is on video, there's a lot more vagueness around it and more of an assumption rather than an outright statement. So it's a lot harder for the FTC to crack down on them. But this is where it gets really crazy and where I think I may have cracked, may have cracked at least a possible explanation as to why so many of these programs look exactly the same and they have the same prices and they have much of the same content. This is where it gets really crazy. Probably the most infamous video to appear on Jones's site is called Frank Kern's Criminal Confession. In this three-minute clip, Frank Kern advises his students to form what he calls a syndicate, just like he and his cronies have. So you're looking at this, the question, where do I get affiliates to promote my stuff? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's easy. Please. All right. You have to run your business like the mafia, but you shouldn't kill anybody um, unless they fuck with you. So here's the deal. 
I taught this in list control. Thank you to the people who have bought that, by the way. You, you've got a market, all right? So whatever your market is, is like a community. You have competitors in that community. The thing to do is to go to those competitors and establish what I call a syndicate within your market. Syndicate is, I think, French for trade union, and that's why I made the mafia joke, because everyone thinks syndicate means mafia. It really means trade union, right? So you form a mastermind of peers. Identify the strongest people with the most reach that can help you that are serving the same market. Then you hold a meeting for all of these people physically come, fly them to you. So when you're all together in the same room, you immediately form this bond and you form this camaraderie. And then you deliberately ask every person in your group what their promotion schedule is like for the year. And then you each work together on how to promote each other for maximum effectiveness. I mean, let me, I mean, let's be fucking honest here. Have you ever noticed that all the people in the internet marketing world are promoting each other? I mean, we're not psychic. All the top people work together to serve the market better and to help each other's business. It's based on the principle there's no such thing as my customer, right? So if they're buying your stuff, they're also buying mind movie stuff. They're also buying Tony stuff. They're also, to a degree, probably buying T. Harvecker's stuff. So you help them, as the godfather would do, get what they want, and then you bring them all together, and then you all work together to get what you want. That's it. Thanks. You're welcome. Kern appears in front of a whiteboard to inform the viewer that in order to really dominate a market and make lots of money fast, I'm advising you to form a syndicate. Then he dials back a bit or tries to by explaining that a syndicate is a fancy word of saying trade union. In this case, Kern is talking about organizing those internet marketers selling the same or similar products, your peers, he says, who some would call your competitors. This borrows a page, not from the trade unions, but from cartels. You are meeting with your competitors, you're sharing information, you're helping each other. You're setting the price for goods instead of the market. So when you form a syndicate, you all decide the prices together. I think that widely can explain why so many of these marketers use the same prices, almost the exact same prices, because they want to set the market at those prices for the courses. And it also explains why so many have a similar look and vibe. It's because they are working together in some sort of syndicate. At least that's a likely possibility. And after hours of research, really the only possibility that I think is the strongest. It's not a coincidence. The only other option that I think there really is, is that there's some sort of parent company who is dictating how these people can market and sell their product and what it looks like. And somehow they're working with a larger organization who's orchestrating this all. You're meeting with your competitors, you're sharing information, you're helping each other, you're setting the price for goods instead of the market, and you're collaborating on release schedules that emphasize a false scarcity. We only have two weeks left and then our product will disappear forever. Sounds familiar, right? Those are some really shady operations and a lot of them are very illegal to do. It's not up for debate, it's illegal to price fix in a market and by coming together as top performers you're creating a monopoly of sorts and sharing in all the profits. One thing I do think is a little suspicious about Shopify is that in all the very popular Shopify dropshipping videos, they always provide a link to a free Shopify 14 day trial. Before we begin and actually get into product research, you will also need a Shopify subscription. And I have a 14 day free trial. There's gonna be a link below in the description. So make sure that you sign up for that right now before we begin this video, because to follow with the rest of this video with the entire guide, you will need to have a subscription with Shopify and it's free. You can cancel it you know, within 14 days if your store doesn't work or if you don't like it or whatever, right? Obviously I recommend you push through and you persist because uh, success has all to do with persistence. So the link is down below, make sure you pause this video, get it right now and come back. And while I would like to believe that they're doing that out of the kindness of their heart to just, you know, give people a link that they can click on to check it out. I have to also be skeptical since it seems like their entire videos are all about them selling their program, making as much money as they possibly can. 
I almost have to wonder if sharing this 14 day free trial Shopify link is in a way something that can bring in income from them. If it's an affiliate link, let me actually check on that really quick. Yes. Yep. So here's an interesting thing. So for example, on the first video we watched by Beast of Ecom, they say free Shopify 14 day trial and it has free Shopify trial beast as the link. So it's an affiliate link. It's very interesting too that that's an affiliate link because nowhere on this do I see any information that the 14 day free trial link that he's providing is an affiliate link. I don't see any information. I watched the video. I may have missed if he said it, but I believe he did not say at any point that when he's telling people to click on this 14 free day trial from Shopify, that it's an affiliate link for him. And that, that just changes the whole tone of these videos because not only are they making money off of the programs they're selling, but even though they're maybe providing some valuable information in the Shopify videos, they're also making money off of sending people to Shopify to start a business. Like how can you trust what they say or that they have your best interest in mind? Wow. Once again, Dan Voss, his website is Shopify Freedom. If you go to the Shopify free trial, it says bit.ly dash Shopify Freedom trial, an affiliate link. Does he say anything about it? There's literally nothing in his description that discloses that he has a Shopify affiliate link and that this entire video is him recommending Shopify, something that he's affiliated with, a company he's affiliated with. Oh my gosh, that's so frustrating. All of these people have Shopify affiliate links. So at least Amazon doesn't condone these FBA training sellers, but I'm honestly kind of disappointed in Shopify because they're giving these Shopify drop shipping gurus, these affiliate links, these gurus aren't even disclosing in their videos or in their description when they link it, right when they link it, they don't disclose that it's an affiliate link and that's super shady. And it gets even worse. I ended up looking into whether or not Shopify has an affiliate program. I ended up finding Shopify's posting about their affiliate program, and this is what they have to say about the Shopify affiliate program. The Shopify affiliate program includes entrepreneurs, educators, influencers, those all sound familiar, don't they? And content creators who inspire and teach their audience about entrepreneurship with Shopify. It also includes others who refer their entrepreneurial audience to Shopify. So yes, these guys are very, very obviously affiliated with Shopify. The codes, the links that they give out in their description for people to sign up for a 14 day free trial through Shopify, those are affiliate links that they are not disclosing. Not only are they forming these syndicates, working together, sharing information, setting market prices, sharing a lot of the same information, in their videos, but they're also getting money off of sending people to Shopify in the first place, not disclosing any of it at all. And it gets worse when you learn how much they actually make through sending people to Shopify through undisclosed affiliate links. Affiliates can earn an average of $58 for each user who signs up for a paid plan with your unique affiliate link and $2,000 for each Shopify Plus referral. And this is from the Shopify website itself. This is how much these guys are making. And when you look at the views on some of these videos, even if no one bought their $500 program, they're still making a crap ton of money off of selling people this 14 day free trial, which they're making money off of and not disclosing that this entire video is through an affiliation with Shopify. That's insane. It's so gross and wrong. It's illegal. And the whole tone of these helpful educational videos changes completely when you realize that they are getting paid to send people to Shopify. It feels like this is all just a bait and hook to get as many people to give them as much money as quickly as possible without any sort of legitimate reason to. It's like Wizard of Oz. At the end of the day, there's nothing behind the curtain. 
they're selling this product that doesn't really exist that has no actual tangible value because they're not teaching you anything you can't easily learn online even when you watch the videos of what little value you may think is in the videos and is educationally there it all changes when you realize that the whole purpose of even these Shopify tutorial videos is to send people to the Shopify 14 day free trial link that they have that they are making money off of because it's an affiliate link. It's all so crazy. I had no idea it would get this deep or that it would be this insanely sketchy, but holy crap, this is illegal. Like, if this is the case, if there is a syndicate, if they are not disclosing their affiliates, all of that is illegal. And I still can't say 100% sure that it is, but I have spent hours at this point researching, and I strongly believe that all of this stuff is illegal. So who are all of these free bots learning from? Well, I have some exciting news, guys. We were doing it. We're diving in. We are going to react to Ty Lopez, ultimate free bot himself, the ultimate most amazing free bot himself. We're going to look at some of his videos and his content as well as Grant Cardone. So, you know, we've all seen the here in my garage video. My garage. It's amazing. Just but let's see what he's been up to lately and how his content has evolved, how his advice has evolved. You know, he's a guru. He's the ultimate financial guru. So I'm sure he's going to have some valuable knowledge for us. So let's watch that. The results are in and e-commerce has won. The results are in and e-commerce is now officially past any other form of business. Those of you who built businesses. Okay, let's just talk about this. This millionaire, so successful. I mean, first off, awesome that he has a gym, but I'm also like, why is his gym in a shed, in a poorly lit shed, in a dimly lit gym? He's wearing a muscle tank which is just awkward. Like I did not want to see that. I did not want to see that. But of course, to top it all off, he's wearing glasses because Ty Lopez never quits. He's smart 24 seven every day. He's always got the mentality of a winner, which is why he's wearing glasses when he's working out and filming an ad after that. Like what's the sequence here? Did he decide to work out kept his glasses on, went into the gym, and then was like, you know what? Like he was like on his phone, something came out about how e-commerce is winning. And he's like, you know what? I'm gonna film a video in this, in my glasses before I do my workout. Is this just an elaborate way to procrastinate on his workout? I don't know. I feel bad for you. You must pivot very quickly. Jeff Bezos made a bet in 1994 that people want to buy things without having to go somewhere. By the way, that's the simplest definition of e-commerce, where the store comes to you. Here is Ty Lopez. Literally, what day did he post this? <laughs> Literally, April 2nd, 2020, telling us that e-commerce is the future. None of us knew this. We never guessed that e-commerce was gonna be the future until Ty Lopez hit us with that knowledge. knowledge. Now, you know, we have been enlightened that internet is important, that buying things online is, is a good way to do things. It's not like every single brick and mortar business now has online shops or almost every single. It's not like, like that's been a thing for a while. Like I'm just so confused as to why he feels like right now is an important time to announce that e-commerce has officially won the game of business yeah so you can sell a physical product you can sell a virtual product as law what makes it e-commerce brick and mortar is where the customer has to go to buy if you want a college education okay we're 42 seconds in and i already can't stand this video it's 21 minutes long i'm just wondering how many times i'm gonna have to stare at his shoulders in this video and i'm also just like why is he acting like this is new we're we're all aware of how e-commerce works have you been literally living in that gym shed for years now 
and you're just finally realizing that e-commerce is important. For most colleges, you have to drive to campus. Well, not anymore. The world has changed. And no matter what happens with this current pandemic, I think the inflection point has happened. Those of you pandemic. who are on the fence pandemic. trying to decide if you should start a business, maybe you have a business, your omni-channel, drop everything, burn the boats, go all in for e-com. Can we just talk about the camera shaking too? This man, stop with the camera shaking. And I can't think of one industry. If you're in the restaurant industry, e-com. Be deliver. do not have the only way people buy your food come into your restaurant. That's how you go bankrupt. And if this pandemic hadn't come, it would have still happened, just much slower. And I have empathy. I'm not saying, let's not, you know, I've been telling people for 10 years that you should bet that the writing on the wall is that you should bet on e-com. Some people thought it was a scam. I did online education. I said, you don't have to go to a campus to learn. The education can come to you right on your phone. And people say, oh, that's a scam. Yeah, because all things that aren't scams say, I'm not a scam. Like, you know that something's definitely not a scam when they feel compelled to tell you this isn't a scam. Yeah. So anyways, I just think Ty Lopez is hilarious. He's amazing. As much as I want to be like Ty Lopez is a scam and it's annoying that he's scamming people, I'm also like, he is a verified goober. He is a total goober. He's 100% a goob. And that makes it so hard to hate him because some of the stuff he says and does, it's just like... Oh my gosh, yeah, Ty Lopez, great stuff. But I will say he 100%, in my opinion, started the trend of this financial guru, free bot, financial freedom ads and channels and programs and all of that. And so I'm a little bit upset with him. We're a little upset with you, Ty Lopez. You know, I love the videos that like Cody Ko and other people did on Ty Lopez. I think they're hilarious. They point out his total gooberness. But then I go onto his website and I see how much poking fun of him actually blew him up in a way. It actually made him get huge. And now he has like this whole website that you can tell is just on another level from all these other scam sites. I remember hearing something that there was a theory that his In My Garage advertisement was actually rented out, that the place that he was filming in, he had rented out to specifically film for that video. That was bad, baby. That was really bad. So it feels like it was all fabricated so that he could do an ad, sell a program, get that traction, get money, and then start a bunch of uh, other programs. And it's like now he may actually be very rich and successful, but it's from selling his network of programs. It's not from him actually being successful and genuinely teaching others how to do it. I feel like once these free bots get rich by telling other people how to get rich, they transition from all of their content just being about how to get rich into the millionaire mindset. All of a sudden, they're completely rich. They're not pretending anymore. It's like, okay, now I'm actually rich. So I'm gonna tell everyone how to achieve the mindset to be rich, the millionaire mindset, you know, motivation, inspiration. That's what I'm gonna talk about. And I feel like every single like successful free bot always makes that transition eventually where they just start talking about motivation and inspiration. And so I'm gonna go over Grant Cardone who talks about real estate a lot. All right, I had to pick up my cat to move her and then she scratched me and I didn't want you guys to see that. Oh yeah, she's back. Yep. She's being a terror today, guys. I don't know what it is. Stop. Yeah, so I had to change into a jacket so that you guys don't have to see the scratches on my body and like the way that my skin rashes up. It's just not a good sight. Anyways, let's take a look at Grant Cardone and what he has to say with this millionaire mindset. How does money make your life easier? Who would you help? I wanna do what I told my mom I would do. I am going to help millions and millions and millions of people and I want you to be one of them. This is my guy right here, man. God bless you, bro. I 
want to help you and help as many people as possible become financially prosperous, millionaires, even super rich. How can you get an appointment when a customer is completely uncertain about their money? How can you close the deal when somebody's uncertain about their money? I'm not trying to impress you with what I've accomplished in my life or how much I know. The reality is what I have created financially in my life is very simple, and that is why it will work for you. And you gotta figure out how to find that frequency and that vibration that people are like, dude, I wanna send some money there. Not just noise. Every one of you in the room, including myself, are responsible for that condition. You have the vehicle. That's what I mean about create the life you want, man, so you can have, not balance, but life. Grant Cardone, he joins me now. He's an international sales expert and the author of the 10X Rule, the only difference between success and failure. Yeah, look, I, I, I want to know what you stand for as a leader. I want to know that you stand for the right thing, whether it's popular or not. Be relentless, be strong, know everything. The description says, if you're ready to take that next step and become a millionaire yourself, I want to give you the tools. Simply visit grantcardone.com. And this looks exactly like the other scam sites, except for this one has a little bit more of the MLM vibe with a speaker coming in and then they have a million different pop-ups to get access to the Grant Cardone University. The other thing too that I noticed, especially Grant Cardone and Ty Lopez, they'll use phrases like, if you're determined enough to reach success, if you have the drive, then you'll sign up. If you don't care and you want to say, it's a scam, this isn't for you, well, you're just not open-minded enough, you're not ready to take the plunge, they'll say all stuff like that. It's the same manipulation tactics we've seen with MLMs and how they try and rope people in. They say, you know, take the next step, what do you have to lose? Other people, they're just closed-minded. That's why they're not signing up for this, that's why they're saying it's a scam, not because it actually is, but because they're closed-minded to this opportunity you have to believe you have to go for it take the next step sign up it's so manipulative and it's so shady at the end of the day we know all people are going to do is lose money off of these programs they're not going to make money uh, these guys make it sound like getting rich can be quantified into a simple process but it's not it's not it's so dependent on luck on timing there's so many different factors and there's so many different ways to be successful you can teach a program but to act as if your program is the only way anyone's going to ever receive any sort of success is just bs and i am really scared that a lot of people poured way too much money into these programs than they should have and all it did was line these guys pockets even more here's a really funny motivational speech by Ty Lopez. Everybody doesn't win. And the sooner you wake up to that, that biology is ruthless, man. But you can say that everybody doesn't win, but then you are selling a program of how to win. And if everyone followed your program, then everyone would win, right? A fear in you. And when you get a little fear in you, you start listening. Because if you're truly afraid, you listen. Let a little fear come in and drive you and motivate you. <laughs> the guy is just like, what are you saying? The reason why so many people are falling for scams right now at this time with the um, COVID-19 is because they're afraid. They don't know what the future of their job's gonna look like. They don't know how they're gonna financially get by over the next few months. So they're more susceptible to scams because they're afraid. We're set up for failure because we think we're going north, but we're south. Yay, thank you. <laughs> That's why 50% of people who get married divorce, 80% of businesses fail. That's why 30% of Americans are on some form of antidepressant medication. That's why 60, 70% of- I love the other guy's face during this. Like Ty Lopez is trying to say that people get divorced or on antidepressants and stuff because they think that they're gonna succeed, but then they fail. Yes. And then this guy is just looking at, look at his face. He's just like. He's just like. He's just like. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> he is paying me to be here. <laughs> Cute. People are overweight. I mean, in a way, we're kind of fucked. But we live in a society. We live in a society. Baby literally says, we live in a society. We live in the society. Love their shoes, too, man. <laughs> 
They're really flexing. That's very narcissistic. You're told like, oh, everybody's a winner. No, not everybody's a winner. That's like saying everybody's blonde. There's a definition of what blonde is. Is Ty just trying to tell us that he likes blondes? <laughs> blonde is like this yellowish hair. So you lose meaning when you start going, everybody's blonde. I'm sorry, what? This is his motivational speech. And he's trying to talk about how not everyone's blonde. That's so easily debunked because literally anyone can be blonde. You don't have to naturally be blonde, but you can dye your hair and then boom, everyone can be blonde. Guess what? My roots are coming in. This is not my natural hair color, but people assume that I'm blonde because I made my hair so. That's such a weird like analogy to make just because it's so easily debunked. Everyone can be blonde, you know? <laughs> When you see your life and anytime there should be pain, you go, no, 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 no. It was just how it was meant to be. No, look yourself in the mirror sometimes and go, you know why I'm not happy? It's because I didn't listen 10 years ago and I got in the wrong career. You know, I'm not happy. He's trying to. <laughs> When I'm dealing with something that was unexpected or an unexpected pitfall that truly is out of my control. Say you do get into an industry that's booming and then that industry tanks. Things like that are not in your control. And Ty Lopez can't control the market. He can't control the economy. So <laughs> yeah, of course he can, he's Ty Lopez. So like, you know, when you deal with things that are unexpected, you just say it's meant to be. And that's a great way to cope with it. It gives them comfort and solace in the fact that something really terrible happened and hope that maybe something greater will happen coming along. It allows them to not take it as such a terrible failure on themselves. Being hard on yourself isn't always necessary and can lead you down a really dark path. At least it has a lot of times for me. So that phrase just really pisses me off. <laughs> And this, by the way, is not my opinion. If you talk to guys like Dr. David Buss, top 10 most cited uh, psychologist in history, okay, he's one of my main mentors. He told me, I said, do adults change? Like, we do all this self-help videos and podcasts. I said, am I wasting my time? He goes, yeah, kind of. <laughs> I said, why? He said, well, after 25, it's very hard to teach old dogs new tricks. By the way, that's why I've changed most of my stuff targets people 18 to 25. That's why I do Snapchat and all that. Because there's hope for 18 to 25 year olds. Now, if you're over 25, before you get depressed, that's why. Did you guys hear that? Most of his stuff, his stuff, which is once again, his programs and stuff, targets people 18 to 25. Why do you think that is? Do you think it's, oh, because they can change? No, it's because they're younger, they haven't been around the block enough to identify a scam, and therefore, they're more susceptible to scams. That's what younger people, like that's why younger people are targeted by MLMs, pyramid schemes, all that stuff, because they're more susceptible to scams. What is this dude saying? It's just like the prime example of fake woke. A lot of the free bots that are really successful at this, they have a certain personality or certain way of talking that a lot of people like. I'm sure a lot of people like the tough love type of personality that, that Ty Lopez has. At the same time, that doesn't mean that what he's saying will genuinely help you be successful. All right. Last person, Gary V, someone who's recently blown up on TikTok for his motivational, like mindset guru type topics. I know a lot of people really love what he has to say and are really inspired by him, but at the same time, I want you guys to keep in mind, he's selling these seminars, he's selling his book. If you genuinely enjoy what he has to say and everything, that's great. But I also want to point out that he is a part of this network of free bots. He's kind of a part of that too. And that's why he is featured in this video today. Let's take a look at his video, One Life, No Regrets, and see what he has to say. The biggest poison in us is regret. It's poison. And I push so hard, so hard, and will through my vehicle which isn't meditation, which isn't health and wellness, which isn't nonprofit. My vehicle's business. I can't help it. It's what I love. I love building businesses. 
I love competing with you. I want to beat you. I love that game. <laughs> my vehicle's business, as my husband just said, my vehicle's business that I came up with so that I could make money off of you. I can't help it. I can't help it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm passionate. You know, I, I want to help people, but my vehicle's business. So give me your money first and then I'll help you. <laughs> He literally just exposed himself for how shady he is because there's so many people who have become very rich and successful, but then actually spend the majority of their time doing free talks and seminars and interviews to help others, you know, help those that are struggling. They do charities to give to others. They don't start a business where they try and sell to others how great their advice is. But through that vehicle, I will always push a lack of regret and awareness to how good it really is. You're more than welcome to tell me about how bad it is or why you can't because or what, but it's just not true. Because if anybody ever did it, then you can too. Stop making excuses. Stop complaining. Nobody's listening. I'm sorry, but isn't this just the most basic advice you've ever heard? He's making it sound like it's this new revolutionary thing, but he's literally just saying, live life with no regrets, don't make excuses for yourself. That advice has been around for a long time, so the fact that he's trying to sell this program from this advice, it's just like... The funniest thing I think of all of this is once you start going down the rabbit hole of watching these free bots, YouTube recommends more of them. Every single advertisement you start getting is all these free bots selling their new program. Every time you think you've seen them all, you start to see more and more. There's an extensive amount of these free bots on the internet. It's almost disturbing. The fact that they're doing this and actually making money off of people claiming that they're gonna help them be successful, it's disturbing. And I just wanted to show you guys kind of the whole picture of the, all the types of free bots that I've seen on the internet. I wanted to read this hilarious Reddit post saying, translation of every guru scam. Hi, I'm Dave. I tried to start a business online, but gave up really early when I realized it wasn't the get rich quick scheme I was hoping for. So I realized I need to find a new get rich quick scheme. I'm going to create a video of myself acting really pumped up, probably standing on a beach or skyscraper I pretend to own and tell you how I'm financially free exploring the world. After that, I will also tell you another fib and claim I make seven figures every month just by following these simple steps. On top of that, I'll finish the video ad by claiming I only do this because I want everyone to be rich. The reality is though, I film my YouTube videos out of my mom's bedroom because I still live with her and am up to my neck in debts trying to peddle this scam. I also think that because I figured out how to create a video Facebook ad, it makes me smarter than all of you. Anyway, I'm off to try and sign people up to my guru course now for a ridiculous amount of money, even though I just told you I'm a billionaire who doesn't need money and does this because I want to see you become rich, which is so accurate. They just did such a great job with that post. I think it's so accurate with all these free bots that we see. And uh, th these are some comments that are hilarious. Haha, -ha, don't fall for these courses, guys. If you want to make it happen on Shopify, you gotta make it work by yourself. Watch YouTube videos, you don't have to buy these courses, but YouTube videos won't help you 100%. You have to test and figure out things by yourself. Don't forget, don't give up early, be patient. Yes, he called it. That's exactly what you need to do. Be patient. Yeah, be patient, don't give up. You can do it. You can be successful in these avenues, but you can't by watching these free bots and genuinely taking their advice and paying them money. That's not gonna do anything for you. This other comment says, Dave, this is perfect. You should make a course about how to make a course, which makes you look like a professional billionaire selling a course, which is amazing. There's another article that says, can you still make money online building a guru business? which goes to show a lot of people 
their strategy for making money online is to build a guru business. Recently, I came across an article titled about observations that called online marketing and especially starting some kind of guru business a crumbling niche. I mean, it's oversaturated, so of course. So do the tactics of online gurus still work? All of these gurus are walking on a fine line with their claims, which are typically very unrealistic. These gurus are selling the dream because that's what people buy, similar to network marketing and how all of the MLM reps are encouraged to look like they're living this lavish lifestyle because people buy into dreams. In general, most of what they teach does work for some people, but it's not a guaranteed path to success. And the problem is that it's hard to find the line between genuine marketing that is used as a tool to sell and what I call entertainment. This makes it so hard to determine where the envelope stuffing scam begins. The envelope stuffing scam originated in the United States during the depression. Interesting, right now we have the coronavirus, it's kind of crashing the market, it's making people very afraid. The envelope stuffing scam happened during the depression between 1920s and 1930s. That's why I think it's so essential for awareness against scams to be spread right now in this moment because the unfortunate fact is so many more people are susceptible to scams and schemes now than ever before. In the envelope stuffing scams, someone has offered entry to a Ponzi scheme where they can earn $2 for every envelope they fill. After paying a small fee to get to know the great opportunity, the victim is sent a template educating them to send out similar letters and post similar ads. Originally found as printed adverts in newspapers and magazines, variants of this scam have expanded into more modern media. For example, people who teach how to make money online using Facebook ads and all they do is teach people how to do the same. And I genuinely believe personally that these free bots are just profiting off of a modern version of the envelope scam. The problem here is that all of this is a marketing Ponzi scheme. The motivational speaker, aka the internet marketer, teaches other people his funnel building stuff to repeat his exact success. Literally what these guys are doing is the modern day version of a Ponzi scheme. You have like someone like Ty Lopez at the top and he's doing ads about how you can make money and get rich. And then he's teaching others in his program how to make money through doing ads and selling programs. And then they teach others and they teach others. And it goes on and on. It's like this endless pyramid cycle of teaching others how to get rich off of teaching others how to get rich which is a scam, it's a total scam. There's no actual value being taught and sold in these programs. But the thing is, only so many people can actually succeed that way. When the market is so saturated, no one can really be successful. These free bots were not the first to do this. They're just following in the footsteps of other scammers who have come before them, who have gotten in legal trouble for making very similar claims and doing very similar videos and advertisements. That's what's concerning to me and makes me wonder, why is YouTube allowing these free bots to advertise on their platform? Why are these free bots getting away with the claims they're making, with the allusions to getting rich quick schemes being the solution to all your problems? It's disturbing to me personally. So that's really all I have to say on this video. I felt like there's a huge movement in the anti-MLM community spreading awareness against MLMs, but there's also so many other schemes and scams going on right now that I want to talk about and expose, which is what my channel's for and what I'm trying to do here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And let's comment down below if you know of any other free bots or gurus that I missed in this video, comment below. Let's expose them all because no. I'm not having it with this stuff. I'm not having it. I'm over this scheme. I don't think more people should be buying these programs. I think that these guys need to get off the internet. So that's all I have to say. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and see you in the next one. Bye.
if you made it this far into the video wow i am impressed thank you so much for watching that definitely makes me feel great about all the work and effort that i put in to know that people are actually watching everything is just crazy and mind-blowing to me and i really appreciate all of your guys' support i mean it's been overwhelming lately because i've been getting to the point where i can't respond to every single comment and that's really strange to me and kind of makes me really sad in a weird way because i want to talk to everyone and so i get really sad and upset when i can't talk to everyone and respond to everyone so just so you know i see your comments i see your love and support and i really appreciate that so Thanks for all the love. I hope in my videos I'm able to give it right back to you.